My name is Christine Schiltz and I'm a professor in cognitive neuroscience here at the University of Luxembourg. So mathematics is a language on its own, but some of the mathematical processes and concepts, they nevertheless strongly rely on language. So the abilities that a child or an adult has in a certain language will shape also some part of the mathematical concepts and thinking. And especially in school, when you think about how we learn mathematics in school, instruction is shaped and it's conveyed by language. So all the children that somehow are struggling with language, they will automatically then also struggle indirectly with mathematics. And this can happen in a number of uh, instances. For example, imagine an immigrant child who simply doesn't master the language of the school so much yet, well, they will also be hampered in their mathematical learning. can also be because a child, cognitively speaking, has difficulties with its language development. Again, also the, the mathematics instruction and learning will be affected. On the other side, we, ha we know that some socioeconomic um, a more disadvantaged environments also have a detrimental effect of language development and again this will then again indirectly affect learning of mathematics in school and finally take the children that are impaired with hearing that are deaf also there we must find ways um, to convey and instruct mathematics without that the language itself is being a barrier